Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm. I'm Jim McMahon, with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello! Hello, we are in Bakersfield, California tonight. It is not the Social Distortion song, it is Friday Stand Firm. And we are here, Jim, to kick ass, take names, and crown another money in the ass match competitor. Who will it be? We've got a hell of a match to start this show off. Real fun one coming up. What do you think? Yes, it's uh, it's incredible, isn't it? Obviously, the giant crusher. Everybody everybody loves crusher. Uh, Bezor. <laughs> Naked Bezor. <laughs> Hellacious competitor. And then uh, Humorous Jim, he's been around the block a few times. He's, you know, he, he's gutsy. He could pull it out. And the new kid on the block, Geeks Wargaming. You don't know Geeks what he's with got an impressive sleeve. win last week. Yeah, you don't know what he's got up his sleeve. It could be a razor blade, so we'll have to see. <laughs> I don't think Skromezzo's on this card. He is not, but he's on afterwards, isn't he? No, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and Geeks? Geeks coming off a pretty impressive win last week, if I recall correctly. I don't know who it was against or what it was for, but I remember being impressed by it. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Geeks, and hello, Tony. VIP Tony plays poorly. Hello, hello. But yeah, it's hard to see past Bezel in this one. He constantly, constantly impresses. Uh, but, you know, you, so, sometimes you just got to put your money on the big hard hitter, and that's going to be Crusher in this match. So that's sure. who I'm picking a winner. What about you, Jim? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the uh, the all-round, uh, you know, best competitor in this match, which is probably Bezel, but he, Oh, God, I was going to say he doesn't have the best entrance, but he might. <laughs> <laughs> it's a 1A, 1B kind of thing for, uh, for these two engines. Yeah. Oh, baby. <laughs> ah, thanks, Geeks. <laughs> Too new for you, bang on. I mean, thanks for telling us, not thanks for squashing too new. <laughs> I had to, uh, I had to pack away all my camera gear for uh, for a shoot yesterday, so I just had to like rip it out real quick because I was running running late for uh, for JF or JFW. And so now I'm like old school, classic 80s style, holding the mic in my hand. Oh, wow. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is like, yeah, full on, full on. Reminds me of the 1980s. World class back in the 1980s. <laughs> oh, and back to back, Bezel yes. and Crusher entrances. Dreams do come this true. me of world class back in the 1980s. <laughs> oh, holy shit, I love it. <laughs> Crusher just towers over him. <laughs> Bazaar. He's very magenta as well, isn't he? Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it only gets worse once that rope comes off, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and from Dudley, England. Good lie. Not gonna lie, if I hadn't already picked Crusher, I would pick Geeks to win this. I think this guy has the tools to go all the way. Uh, but uh, good news for Geeks, I didn't pick him. I picked Crusher, <laughs> and I have yet to pick a single person correctly in any match in JFW. <laughs> <laughs> well, Except, I think, for uh, Skuro decimating Jimmy on the mic. But <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That was and of course, my, my my brilliant call on that backstage, that amazing backstage match. But that was uh, that was a little bit different. We didn't even know that was happening at the time. A, a backstage match, you say? I, I seem, the details of that seem to have escaped me, to be honest. Oh, uh, if you recall correctly, actually, one of the competitors... Oh, no, nope, never mind. That was Golden Fagor. My mistake. Uh, Golden Fagor uh, challenged Skuro for something. Skuro Mezzo, that is. Uh, for something. Can't really remember exactly the details of how that all started, but I know how it ended, and that was with a, a vicious uh, uh, knee strike to the ground that just put Golden Bagor down and out. 
Legendary match. Legendary match, too. <laughs> Uh, chimp, chimp really, chimp really hasn't recovered from losing his car. Um, I don't think he's won a match since making uh, making his entrance in the car. So this would be a good time for him to start. But uh, yeah, he just doesn't really look into it. He comes out to the Dusty Roads music, has the moves, doesn't really have the passion though. No, that's true. He, he cannot have. He cannot drive this car into the uh, custom stadiums. It is a fault with uh, 2K19. We do plan on suing him, of course, but uh, <laughs> until then, he, he cannot. He is not allowed his car in, uh, which is terrible. Well, mm -hmm. thankfully, the only person to suffer from that is one of these cartoonish animal idiots. Wow! How dare you! <laughs> 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 Cartoonish animal idiots. That, that should be a stable, shouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I knew, I knew, I'd, I knew I'd get love from that one. <laughs> and we are off, and it looks like Geek's gonna take on the big man. Oh boy! Uh, oh. Much to his chagrin. <laughs> <laughs> Instant regret. <laughs> Instantly into a stall <laughs> suplex. <laughs> And then tossed off. Oh yeah, Jimmy's Jim. always there for the call when guys get tossed off. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I meant to delete that. Of Crusher, look, I gave Crusher like knee pads, and I didn't know whether it was a good idea or not. And I thought it was a bad idea, and thought I deleted them, but obviously haven't. <laughs> it just kind of looks like his knees are bleeding. <laughs> oh, a small package on the small package. <laughs> nope, just a one count. <laughs> Some pretty good book jobs, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, exactly, Jeff. Oh, God, look at that. His, his, his foot's up there. Mm. It's definitely a real time, not just painted on his uniform. Yeah. Oh, massive DDT from Geeks. On the outside, hardest Egg. part of the ring. <laughs> it, hardest heart of the ring, indeed. Uh, Geek's really controlling Crusher out there, whereas uh, in ring, uh, Chimp really kind of dominating Bessel right now. Wow, hey. Chimpanzee. Codes poorly for our two picks. <laughs> yeah. Another, another hopeful pin, not quite a one count. <laughs> but Bessel kicks out on full display, and I do mean full display. <laughs> Hello, Bessel. <laughs> yes, everybody is definitely dressed up. Yeah, Bezel as the manager for Dress for Business would be pretty fucking wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> At barest the minimum, he could probably remind them to get back in the fucking ring and not get counted out in the finals of a multi-week tournament. <laughs> yeah, we built that up for weeks. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Oh dear me! The bruiserweight versus the the high flying chimp. Yeah, I think a big mistake by all three competitors there, leaving Crusher on the outside to recover and get back in. Uh, you know, once you get a big man down, you kind of gotta you know lay it on him as much as you can. Chimp though, busting out the table and instantly striking geeks and instantly <laughs> giving up the table. That's about <laughs> our expectations for table usage in the JFW. <laughs> And then, oddly, uh, it looked like uh, Humorous Chimp was going to go for the save on Bezel, then kind of changed his mind. Oh, boy. Humorous Chimp drives oh. Geek's head into the steel post there. Some would say the hardest part of the ring. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about, Lemon. <laughs> oh, cool. Bezel trying to insert that sledgehammer into Geek's Wargaming's asshole <laughs> has yet to succeed. Oh, but he catches Crusher on the back of the head. Oh, boy. Oh, wow, look at that. Into an armbar as well, but he's not going to tap on the outside. Got to have the pin in the... Got to have the... In the ring. Oh, look at this! Hugh Marissa Champ with an amazing yeah. elbow drop to the outside. Yep. Yeah. Putting it all on the line. Oh, 
Oh, and then smashes Geek's heading, Geek's head off the hardest part of the the mat. <laughs> yeah. You've been uh, you've been nailing these complete sentences tonight, Jim. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the bicycle kick, though, for the recovery on Geeks. <laughs> Twat. Oh, and another small package. Oh, but reversed by Geeks. Uh, reversed again by Jim. Reversed again. Reversed again. Oh, my goodness. We might be stuck in a logic loop, but no, finally a kick out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. oh, and now Crusher lining Ooh. up, uh, lining up Pizzle there. But this is on the outside of the ring. Won't get a pinfall there. He's However, him up ooh, nasty, nasty, nasty submission on Chimp. This could be it for Chimp. No, able to work his way out. Oh. And the big sit down power slam. <laughs> Crusher just looks like he's penetrating Bezel. <laughs> Who's to say that he isn't, Jim? Yeah. Certainly Bezel's made it easy access. <laughs> he's made himself and, uh, easily accessible. <laughs> Jim making sure he does not accidentally use that chair. And then gets underhook suplexed onto it. <laughs> terrible, terrible strategy by Chimp there. <laughs> And now, Crusher back in the ring on Bezel, looking to maybe finish him off here. But no, the reversal by Bezel, can he make something of this? Could we see the world's greatest teabag driver on one of the biggest men in the JFW with the longest snout that will definitely look horrible? <laughs> maybe. Oh, that, he loves that armbar, doesn't he? Sure does. A bezel sending Crusher into the ropes. Oh, low knee. Oh, I'm just stomping on his chest there. And another pinfall attempt. Two count. Bezel's got to be getting close, though, here. Oh, and there's the submission. Oh! <laughs> oh, God. Elbowing his The electric That's heel funny. elbow there on the back of his head. This is mean, man. Surely Crusher won't tap to an armbar. Surely. Well, no, he's able to able to fight his way out, and now Bezel's in some trouble. Oh no! But uh, Geeks Wargaming distracting Crusher, <laughs> and now Crusher busted open by the big roundhouse. <laughs> and rolls out the safety. Ooh, big yep. From geeks. Oh, and this this might be it for either uh, Geeks or Bezel. Oh no, it looks like this is it for Bezel. <laughs> if Geeks goes for the pinfall here, I, I he doesn't. Oh. Oh gosh, a brave man, a brave <laughs> man almost performs a teabag driver on himself. <laughs> Can't get to the pin. <laughs> the brown house. He called it a roundhouse. <laughs> I would like to take credit for roundhouse, person. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. Oh. Hey, and uh, Bezel, oh. very lucky to be in this match right now. But Chimp. He could be out after oh. that. And Geeks Geek countered oh, into the big swing DDT, and Geeks rolls out to safety. Oh. Just the two count on Bezel, and all four competitors <laughs> staying in this. Uh, <laughs> hell of a fight so far. <laughs> Chimp was celebrating, just got kicked in the Yeah, fucking... Chimp got a little bit too excited. Now here comes Crusher. <laughs> I think Chimp's about to pay for uh, pay for his hubris there. Oh boy, Jackhammer. Yep. Boom. No, it's sure not Jack is. Hammer, and Bezel, but... oh, nope. Crusher makes the pinfall. <laughs> and it, oh no, Crusher likes to go the pinfall. Bezel with the pinfall <laughs> and the kick out. I will be right back. I have a dog that needs to come in. Jack knife. I don't know why I said Jack Hammer. Jack knife. Oh, gone, wasn't it? oh look at this. The booty popping moonsault. <laughs> oh, that's Crusher gone. No, how did that happen? Oh, poor Crusher. 
<laughs> yes, that's true, Jim. Oh. Good leg sweep there by Geeks. The pinfall on Bezel. Uh, humorous Chimp hasn't moved since I got up to let my dog out. I don't know what happened to Crusher, but... Crusher got eliminated while you were gone. Oh, he was actually eliminated. Yeah. Very sad. First out. Of course your well, tip to win was first out. Yeah, yeah. The kiss of, the kiss of death by, uh, by Gorilla Metso once again. <laughs> Geeks has tossed off humorous Jim. Maybe you can tell us about the size of chimpanzee penises. Hopefully. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> Not where I thought that move was going. No. Oh boy, look at this. It's the best. There it is. <laughs> Ground eye drop. Not able to get a pinfall out of the ring though, and Geeks taking advantage. <laughs> drops bezel on those those five thousand pound steel steps. <laughs> five thousand pound. They always embellish the weight of the stairs. Do they? Usually it's like, oh, they're like four hundred and fifty pounds. Like, yeah, okay, that dude just picked it up and threw it thirty feet. <laughs> Cena was the only one who sold them as heavy as well. Yeah. <laughs> Massive one arm power slam, that's pretty impressive. I love that move actually. It's crazy that fucking an absolute shitlord like Sin Cara does it. <laughs> no offense to Sin Cara, but and that's a really cool move. And Geeks looking to put away the chimp. Is this his Here we signature? go. It seems like it is. Think so. uh, no, I don't think so, but it is oh and Bezel breaks it up for some reason. Bezel wants the arm bar on him instead. Geeks. Uh, uh, Geeks lets him uh, tap that one out. And now, down to Geeks. Oh, no! Bezel misses wildly, takes out the ref. And Geeks now could tap out uh, to no, uh, no penalty. <laughs> oh, God, that is stumped on his head. <laughs> Bezel, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Bezel still in control. Ref back on his feet now. Probably not happy with Bezel. But, uh, you know, it seems like it was an honest mistake. <laughs> oh, and Bezel's and now, ready to do his Oh, move. here it comes. Now we might see that teabag driver. Yep. Yep, oh, here oh. it is. Oh, no, and that's got to be good night. <laughs> and Bezel wins it. Jimmy Fantastic called it. And that's the man who's going to money in the ass. <laughs> Bezel. Congratulations, Bezel. He plays on Xbox, folks. <laughs> wow. And he survived that massive power bomb from Prussia. Good for him. Whatever that move is as well. <laughs> Very worthy winner, Bezel there. He took everything everyone had to to throw at him and survived it all and then gave yeah, it Yeah, he just, uh, yeah. he left it all in the ring, Jim. Let, let it all hang out in the ring and uh, came away with the win. Yeah. So, Monday night, our final qualifier for the eighth spot in Money in the Ass. Backdoor Billy for some reason. Mighty Zug, Muppet Pac-Man, and Wolfbark. It's hard to not root for Muffin Pac-Man in that one, I gotta tell you. But my pick to win it is Backdoor Billy, Jim. No, really. Well, my pick would be Mighty Zug, to be honest. Fair enough, and I know for certainty that Backdoor Billy will not be winning that match now. <laughs> which, is, which is all I really care about. <laughs> all right, and now look at this. Ghoulface Killer versus Moradam feuding over that Plum Plum Pluserway title. This is a non-title match. Could this be another in the storied, uh, storied rivalry of these two? And could this be a preview of Money in the Ass? Yeah, maybe. We are still, uh, Muppet won the, uh, won the three-way to see who was going to challenge, didn't he? But uh, I still think it's all a bit up in the air, the uh, Plimpomp losers. I agree, and that's, um, yeah, I had actually forgotten about Muppet in that match, but Muppet does have claims uh, to that. But, I mean, it's after everything Moradam has pulled off that phenomenal money-in-the-ass win 
uh, Ghoulface Killer shutting him down when he called out uh, called out the champ and tried to get the title shot. So they're going to have a match here, but, you know, if, if, if Murdam wins it, it's hard to not think that he might be doing double duty at Money in the Ass. Yeah, yeah. Very interesting. Who's going to win? Here is the Plimp on Poo, which I'm coming up first. It is non title, remember. Looking confident. Yeah, looking uh, looking something. <laughs> Inebriated. I mean, there's a lot of confidence in inebriation, I suppose. But uh... there certainly is, yes. <laughs> Old J five. That card is dead. Oh shit. Sorry, that card is dead. Alright. Give me a second. Yeah, J5 has been talking for a while, shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not the sharpest. <laughs> the and box, here I'm he comes, the testicle taker, the ball breaker, <laughs> the penis puncher, the wang whacker, Moradam, <laughs> the erection eater. <laughs> <laughs> Always got to take it one step too far, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the the scrotum dem snapper. <laughs> Don't demolish. <laughs> <laughs> the penile punisher. <laughs> the cl the, the cock clasper. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. The urethra, you ruiner. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Ghoulface Kill after their heated argument in the ring last week, uh, just taking a right to Morning. Probably looking to close this one out real quick, just like how we retained at the last pay per view. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry. Oh, you've broken me, Gorilla. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm just going to mute. Well, that's fine, Jim. As as we established before before this show, you were shattered coming into it, needed me to carry you. And, Jim, let me just say, call me Samwise, because I'm going to carry you all the way through Mount Mordor and up Mount Doom. You're going to fucking kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh man, crickets for that? That was good. Oh no, he's oh, muted. <laughs> I'm fucking mute. Oh god, I'm just dying. I'm just, just going to mute for a bit. <laughs> and back to the action in the ring. Mordam now coming back and uh, sizing up. Uh, oh, there's that, the, that lower back kick. And now he looks like he's going to work over the arm a little bit. And he does with the monkey flip. Does nothing to the arm whatsoever. And Mordam, yeah, he's stretching out those fingers. Looks like he was thinking about going in on that crotch. Yeah. But Ghoul Face able to fight back and get him into the turnbuckles there. And now presses his advantage. Oh, boy. How you doing, Jeff? I'm, I'm doing <laughs> fine, thanks, Grill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. good good to have you. Oh, and there's a low shot a little bit north of the uh, testicular region, though. So clearly not more damn at his uh, keenest. Yeah, but still. Every little helps, doesn't it? Yeah, well, got him right back on top. Yeah. And in for a hopeful pin here. Just the one count. Oh. 
feeling it, isn't he? Mario down there. Looking at the crowd and then uh, gets him with a snap there. Yep. Oh, and a punch to the bread basket of uh, cool faces, though. And hangs him up on those ropes. And now it looks like he's slowing that pace down a little bit. Yep, big uh, stomp to the knee. I know he's going right in for a pin. I, I don't think he's going to get much out of this. No, that's just the one count. An ill advised pin attempt there from GFK. Yep. But uh, if he's feeling confident, maybe that was it, you know? Overconfident. Yeah. Maybe. It is very easy, as we've learned in the past, to. Uh, to uh, kind of look right past Moradam uh, to your own peril. <laughs> oh, the double neem stomp. We've seen single ones of those end matches before. <laughs> Looks like this time, though, Moradam going to fight through it. <sighs> yeah, somehow. Oh. Oof. Kicks him out of the ring. Oh, and here we go. The suicide. Oh. Nope. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Jumps out and gets, gets the Hurricane Rana instead. Pretty fancy set of moves there. But Moradam, with the judo toss, able to recover and get back in the ring. And, just and do nothing. <laughs> yeah, and just stand there and wait. And now Ghoulface has been all over Moradam. Clearly their, their argument last week really lit a fire in Moradam, or in uh, Ghoulface. Yeah. Yeah, GFK are pretty dominating so far. Yep. But we've seen this time and again with Moradam, he finds a way to come back. Yeah. Have we ever had a one-on-one -on -one match between him and Muppet Pac-Man in JFW? No idea. I can't remember. That would be a hell of a match that two guys that just do not know the meaning of quit, one of which fights incredibly dirty. <laughs> <laughs> the, the head drop. Strange move for a guy like Ghoul Face, but there you go. That was pretty great. Oh, oh. Flipped himself there. Hur that Hurricane, uh, yeah, Hurricane Rana of uh, of uh, Moradam's own, and now drinks it in, and has uh, nope, no, he does not. Sunset flip into a pin. Ref real slow on that count. Just the one count. Probably deserved it too. Big back body drop. Yep. Asserting dominance. He's been all GFK here, hasn't it? He? Pretty much. Sure has. Showing why he's the plim plum plus away champ. Very true gone. Muppet. All it takes is one laser targeted strike to the lower extremities. <laughs> and Mordam can be right back in this match. Wolfface <laughs> going high risk though. Oh, just sit or just there. having a sit. Just having a sit. <laughs> just having a sit. <laughs> <That's what laughs> you do. And he just wins his own personal Royal Rumble. <laughs> and then Colin and Moradam back in. Clearly doesn't understand how Royal Rumbles don't work. Should be freezing now anyway. <laughs> Very good. Oh, and there it is. The testicular <laughs> claw. And a little bit of extra action afterwards, and then he misses wildly with the dropkick. Oh, Moradam still a bit rattled from the thrashing he's taken thus far. And then, wow, quickly countered by Ghoulface Killa. Yep. <laughs> oh, and there it whoa. is! Oh, whoa, whoa! Ghoulface is down in the pinning attempt. Surely he can get out of this. <laughs> Nope. Cannot, and look at that, unceremoniously removed after a dominant performance. Moradam is your winner. What is that going to do for the Plim Plum loserweight title race? Oh, and look at these two. I can't imagine a sign of respect here. Not from a shocking, shocking that, Mo that Ghoulface would offer his hand after losing a match that way. But... <laughs> Moradam says, no fucking thank you. You want to you wanna shake hands with me? We'll do it after I win your title. <laughs> Sends him to the back packing, and this night is all about that literal Glorious. fucking goblin, no, Moradam. Until I'm victorious, 
and I will defend. Oh, I Goliath defend. gifting a sub to Dave. Dave. Probably just in time for Dave's match. <laughs> Oh, thank you very much, uh, Goliath. Glorious. Oh, we got this instead. Our world heavyweight champion, Unseen Walker, versus Adonis Ellis. Round three. Currently one and one. Somehow, uh, Unseen Walker scored a win at Hell in the Shell, even though it was just all Adonis until a single spear threw him off his game. Adonis came back for round two, won it easily. Now we're at round three. Unseen Walker needs a win here or he's gonna find himself right back in a title match against the former champ absolutely yeah thanks very much for that succinct um summation i can't really add anything to that you're just too good <laughs> too good to run that so too good literally too good That's well it. thank you jim uh, maybe now's a good time we should start renegotiating screwment or uh, gorilla metzas Broadcasting contract. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we got anything better to do, right? Oh, and what is this? Not even making his entrance. Unseen Walker out in the ring, just waiting. And look at this, Adon. Oh, looking a little worse for wear. What's going on here? A little bit of fuckery, maybe. What the fuck's going on here? Says uh, Unseen Walker. Oh, and all of a sudden, it sounds like that's somebody else's music. And it is KLZ. He makes his way out. What is happening, Jim? I've got no idea. Oh, I thought you booked this. <laughs> well, well, looks like, it, yeah, the word the word from backstage is that Odontakelis calling out an injury saying he's got a replacement for tonight. His apparent friend, KLZE, both of them amphibious creatures, I think, or cold-blooded or whatever. Uh, so I guess that's our connection here. And out comes the Saurus himself, KLZE, uh, to fill in for Adonta Kellis. Yeah, they're both reptiles. Thanks. Yeah, whatever, whatever, whatever. They both suffer from rep This should be a tag team called Reptile Dysfunction. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Skyvan, yes. <laughs> uh, it's a rivalry mechanic if you have an injury, huh? Thanks, Nick. Oh, Stop showing them how the sausage is made, Night Demon. This is all organic, baby. <laughs> All right, well, this is not the match that Unseen Walker had prepared for, uh, so he can't be too pleased about that. Tails at E, a much bigger man than Adonta Kellis, but uh, not having that armored back exterior uh, shell would, uh, oof, thank you, Unseen, uh, maybe an advantage uh, for the powerhouse Unseen Walker. And also, don't forget, although he's a big guy, uh, Unseen Walker is dauntless, isn't he? That is true. Absolutely. The very right guy for uh, facing off. Oh, wow. A lot of misconnections there. <laughs> Some agility warm display there from KLZ. Yep. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, beautiful suplex, suplex though. Uh, Champ is pretty fired up right now. Takes the fight right outside of the ring and just laying it on to KLZ E. Yeah. Hello, Unseen Walker. <laughs> Kale's at E trying to get some separation against the slower opponent. Not going to happen here. It's yeah. exciting, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is, Jim. <laughs> He's pointing at his ass and then punches it. Calls his shot and hits it. Oh, and there's that Boston Crab, oh. locks it in. You can hear the passion in Gorilla Metzo's voice when he says, Boston! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, KLZD fights his way out, but Unseen Walker just taking it to him right now. He's, oh, no, maybe not. But he, uh... <laughs> oh, beautiful. 
No way. Ooh, no, and the it. two count kick out that uh, deep six or whatever that was really stunned uh, the champ. And now, oh no, now Unseen's in a lot of trouble. I don't know what Deep Six is. I mean, I've been commentating for 50 years and I've never heard that. You must have just made it up. Uh, it's uh, one of Baron Corbin's moves. <laughs> I, was just, I was just ripping the piss out of Jeffy Lawler. I, I, I know. I, I know. <laughs> Oof, chin breaker to get out of the headlock. What an and can Unseen get back in this nice headbutt there. Yeah, Quick. look at this move. Oh, and there it is. Oh. Gut wrench. Beautiful. What a maneuver. Could be thinking about going top rope for that piling on. I think he needs to do a little bit more damage first, though. I should go, go. <laughs> no, I'm not. Jerry Law is just something the idiotic Jerry Law said. I shouldn't have mentioned it, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you jug your own hole on that one, Jim. I did, yeah. Just like Moridan when faced with a penis. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or Tarsus trying to win a fight by exclaiming that he has no balls. Yeah, that wasn't a smart move by Tarsus. <laughs> no, no. Really showing uh, his novice uh, mic experience there. <laughs> no, yeah, well, fuck you. I've got no balls. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Yeah, I was trying to go for you know you eat pieces of shit for breakfast, but it didn't really <laughs> work. Oh <that> well. <laughs> <laughs> like it was intentional, but it just didn't. It yeah, didn't, no, I, I didn't... got you. Well, it also happened like three seconds after someone played the no balls sound. All right. <laughs> Which I think got in your head and fucked you up a little bit. All right. <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah taking a little breather here but he's got he's been all over KLZ in the last uh, last bit of this match yeah. uh, there's a knee stump we've seen that end matches before <laughs> Jim oh dear no they're not they're not allies no they're not allies they weren't so I oh and here we go allies. going up top for the piling on can he hit it or will we find those knees Taking his sweet time, oh, he finds the knees. Down. Yeah, I think he sized them up a little bit too slowly. Oh. Hello, unseen. Hits him with a super kick. Yes, yeah, no balls wasn't mine. Whoa. Big barely to barely suplex. <laughs> Oh no, and here we go. What is, uh, could we be seeing the self rock bottom? Nope. No, no countered. Foo -foo. Oh, beautiful power slam. Oh, thought and almost the three count. I thought that was it. Yeah, I thought he got in there. Lizard kicks out and this match continues. Oh, but look at this. Oh, nice. Oh, big senton. <laughs> and that's going to do it. Unseen Walker all over the last minute replacement, KLZE. Hadn't seen him on TV in a while. Maybe Adantikelos thought picking him as his replacement could throw Unseen Walker for a loop, but that is not the case. Unseen Walker, the world heavyweight champion, victorious, and looking at another match with Adantikelos. Yeah. Yeah, he had a good performance, and uh, that's KLZD relegated to a pre show sure wank once more. <laughs> or maybe, maybe World Class Wednesday. We'll have to discuss yeah, that. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. I mean, he did. He got his licks in there, and that is our World Heavyweight Champion. You can't take anything away true, from a true. loss against that guy. True, good, good shout. Good. It's not Dave time, uh, Dave. It's, uh, it's hot tag team action the two hottest tag team two the hottest two tag teams in the world oh boy um, i think you and i have different definitions of hot but these are our next two tag teams and they are going to be wrestling <laughs> it is 
uh, Dance Dance Revolution and Rude Ham. and Big Ham Rude and Ham. Rude, Rude Ham. Ham. It's Rude Boy Shawnee. Rude Boy Shawnee and Big Ham Full Force combined. You cut me off because I was going. I was going to say <laughs> Big Ham and Rude Boy Shawnee. They are <laughs> Ham Big Fuck. Damn it, you, you got in my head now, Jim. You <laughs> fucked me all up. Here Man, I have a big fuck, damn it. <laughs> what a tech team. <laughs> anyway, let's talk more about Dance Dance Revolution. Great tag team. Haven't had a lot of win success, but always a pleasure to see in the ring. Especially that PTK, past tense, a or or... Uh, Primetime Kevin. Thank you. <laughs> Prime time, Kevin. <laughs> also, Big Kev Gold. <laughs> He's, He's got a lot of names. Almost as many names as uh, Rude Ham has as a tag team. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, here they go. And go. here they come, Rude Ham. Shawnee, of course, the Blitz Pit winner at the weekend. Very true. Shawnee, a dominant performance in Blitz Pit, had to uh, face uh, a lot of challengers of great success and renown, and also Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> yep. <Thanks. laughs> a little ass to ass there, and you know what that means. That means it is time for Rude Ham. <laughs> Well, to wrestle. It is a erotic hollow table. <laughs> it is indeed. Very erotic. You're just saying that because of your massive erection at watching these two guys dance their way into the ring. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily, Lemon, we are a streaming service. We do not uh, adhere to FCC guidelines. We can say anything, but we can't show male nipples. <laughs> Although I think we do show quite a few male nipples on the <laughs> yeah, game. Just not artwork that we've done. Paul <laughs> <laughs> folding all over. <laughs> 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 Gotta ask yourself, what kind of notes PTK puts in there? Some would say he takes uh, detailed pre-match notes on his opponents to prepare for the match, but having seen the results of those, I'm going to assume he's just trying to find the perfect Dark Elf team for his next tabletop match. <laughs> Maybe he's using it to calculate the trajectory of his jump over the top rope. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> he hits it every time, Jim. Every time. <laughs> you got to make those dollars. <laughs> ATK. Love it. <laughs> Shawnee with the two headphones in case he loses the blue pair. He's got his tunes on a backup. No idea what they are synced up to. And don't want to find out where he keeps it. <laughs> Was this Extreme Rules or just Tornado Tag? It's just Tornado Tag. Okay. Of course, uh, Rude Ham, known for uh, having to dig deep on the low blow to win some matches, steal some matches too, and also get themselves ejected from some matches. So, moral of the story is, Shawnee will probably punch someone in the balls. We have no idea what that will be. <laughs> all, we know is that, <laughs> all we know is that no one's balls are safe. In the JFW period, really. <laughs> We've got quite a lot of ball shot specialists. That's another uh, JFW, then now forever we can do. Just do it in Wardam's voice. JFW, balls, <laughs> balls, balls. <laughs> I'm <mean>, pretty right. <laughs> <laughs> Rude Ham in charge right now. 
Space Force, just not Space Force. <laughs> ham Force. <laughs> Fuck, Big Ham. Hulk <laughs> <Hulk> Force. <laughs> Kicks the shit out of Z Talk today, and, and Shawnee's still working over PTK. Oh, fuck me. We just need a match, right? We need we need a match. Book it now, Jimps. We, we need a match, a, a TLC triple tag with Rude Ham, Breaking Stone, and the Norse Cubs. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> oh, dear. Could you imagine that? And Dave. Just have Dave as the special guest referee. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dave. Oh, wow. In fairness, I've never gotten Dave's name wrong for all the mockery I've done about it being a forgettable name. <laughs> oh, Z-Talk looking to punish <laughs> Fault Falls. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Some... Going in for the... Uh, nope. I thought, he, I thought he had a sleeper. That's right, he does this on the big man. Can you get the pinfall? Shawnee's right there, but he, he breaks up the pinfall by hitting the ref and fall force in the face. <laughs> Super effective, though, as now Rude Ham is on top of everyone. <laughs> oh, ah, but here comes the comeback. Zetok the Dan, big splash in the corner, setting up for running, having like having to run through PTK, <laughs> and gets the full combo. Oh. This could be trouble. Oh no, a counter there by Shawnee though. Oh, those savage chops by PTK. <laughs> Whoa, look at PTK oh. running in! Woo! Absolutely, it's a he's got a five second lift off phase to get there. <laughs> But he got there. <laughs> Hello, Sir Lags a lot. Oh, oh, and there it is. Camel Clutch by PTK. Z-Talk uh, taking Shawnee out, but uh, Paul Force able to continue the match. No tap. <laughs> Hello, Sir Lags a lot. Oh, God. Z-Talk just tossing Shawnee off there. Yeah, but not turning around and helping DTK. <laughs> this guy, oh, he could pay for that, but top oh, rope shit. time. Where is he going with oh, this? Oh, gets him. But again, PTK in serious trouble in the Boston Crab. <laughs> Fights his way out of it. I don't think we've ever seen a Boston Crab end a match before, though. I don't think we have, no. Oh, Oof. big counter from footfalls. Absolutely. Big hand. Buys himself some breathing space and boy does he need it. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's got all those binding uh, belts around his chest there. It's got to be a little hard to breathe in this uh, high intensity action. <laughs> Another camel clutch. <laughs> They do, they do too many camel clutches, don't they, in 2K19? Yeah, and Boston Crabs, to be honest with yeah. you. Yeah, they do need the devastation. They're pretty much instant reversals, just as Bizzle points out. <laughs> instant reversal. <laughs> devastating. That was incredible, that. That was how Bobby Roode won his, uh, won his NXT championship. With a half Boston Crab, really? Yeah, because... Uh, I thought he, he did his stupid, like, suplex thing. Yeah, because what's he called? Um, Nakamura was injured, like, uh, storyline-wise, was his knee was injured. Oh, right, right, I forgot about so that. So he, he took apart his knee for the whole match and then ended it with a devastating half. Yeah, I remember that match kind of sucking. Like, I haven't really seen a, a great Bobby Roode. Oh, the big last ride, though. I haven't seen a great Bobby Roode match, but I haven't watched him in a long time. And I know he kind of my was mired in uh, mediocrity when he got to uh, the main the main shows. Oh, there's a Boston Crab following the last ride. Could this be the time? Here comes Zetok. Nope. nope. Looks like KFO gets out once again. Oh, no. Oh, bad miscommunication there. The leg drop <laughs> connecting with, with the already injured Boston Crab legs of PTK. And now Space Force is on. Fuck me. <laughs> Space Cadet, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
fault force that was no longer on top, so everything I was saying is irrelevant now. <laughs> I need to top out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it, bro. Uh, Jimmy making fun of me in the booth and in chat. Oh no, wait, that's Tarsus. <laughs> no, I did no idea, Skybane. I really don't know. <laughs> like I got over the breaking storm thing. I think I called that. Oh, there's the low blow. While the referee was distracted, counting eight. Well, the yeah, ref was. Oh no, he distracted. was not. Calls it for Dance Dance Revolution. Finally, we see some some justice for all of these tactical low blows, ruining matches left, right, and central. Now we've got a win for a much needed win for Dance Dance Revolution, as Rude Ham is disqualified for the low blow. <laughs> Brilliant stuff. <laughs> Oh dear me. Yeah, thought he was and distracted. And now it's time for Dave. Yeah, Dave and Wolfram Ajax find themselves in match after match against each other. I think this is three in a row that they have both been in the, in the ring together. Yeah, they've been in multi man matches. And now they just. Yeah, want this to is a one on one. One on one. Neither of them. I think Dave came out with a win in his first one, but otherwise. Uh, I don't think either of these guys have had a ton of success in those multi-mans. Let's see how the one-on-one -on -one goes. Should fare a lot better for these two. And uh, I got to tell you, my, my pick on this one is someone who I'm not going to name right now <laughs> because I don't want to jinx him. But let's just say I'm rooting for Dave in this one. <laughs> I think everyone's rooting for Dave at all times, to be honest. <laughs> quickly risen to prominence as the biggest fan favorite in the entire JFW. I mean, absolutely, and you gotta, you really gotta talk about his legacy here, Jim. Came in as a complete fucking joke to look at and to listen to, with a name like Dave and a shitty gimp suit and a weird move set. He has really separated himself from the pack, and there is talk backstage that Dave is going to be. Uh, Offering some tu uh, some tutoring for social media out outreach and uh, and and uh, how to how to how to grasp the the attention or how to seize the attention of the fan base because he is proven to be a master at crowd manipulation. It is Dave, and he is here for a match. <laughs> I couldn't. I don't think anyone could have said it better than that. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> we should have a reveal of all the masked men and reveal all oh, God. Me. Some of them, some of them you do not want to see without their masks. Yeah. Especially Finny. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've seen Finny without his mask. I think a bread mask is nothing. I don't think I did anything to his face whatsoever. Uh... But I mean... In fairness, LeBred Mask as a wrestler is also nothing, so... <laughs> He's the Friday Night Football, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the Friday Night Football. <laughs> Alright, and out comes the silver-maned Wolfram Ajax. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, I think, with his, uh, his golden fleece there. <laughs> Out comes the silver man, Wolf from Ajax. He has a match against Dave, and it is about to kick off right now, regardless of how terrible he looks. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Good pyro. Good use of the pyro there. You know, you can always win me over on your entrance with solid use of the pyro. <laughs> It was kind of like Tarts as if I'm being brutally honest. <laughs> to be brutally and there's honest. Dave. He is ready for a fight. Dave. Just walks oh, forward and gets laid But out. just gets rammed down by Wolf Ram Ajax. And now Dave being throttled. <laughs> That's only going to make him harder. <laughs> and now, though, the... The, yeah, works over the arm on Dave, but Dave able to punch his way out of it. 
And here comes Dave. <laughs> no. Nope. With nothing. Nope. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Lovely. What a maneuver. His top like clips through his tits as well. <laughs> it looks terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> Dave dumped on his back there. Now Wolfram trying to, trying to stay on top sends Dave into the corner, and Dave gets clothesline. But he's right back on his feet, and now just savagely tosses him, and Dave stands him up, so Dave can clothesline him, and Dave misses with the stop. <laughs> I forget which. What's the name of these two competitors? Do you happen to know, Gorilla? Could you inform the audience? Well, if I can, uh, you know, I'm pretty bad at names, but I'm pretty sure at least one of them is memorable. It's Dave, and he's facing Wolf Ram Ajax. Oh, thank you very much, Dave. That's his name. <laughs> Dave gets his head slammed into the hardest part of the ring. <laughs> He looks and like now he is charging himself up <laughs> for a big punch to the back by Dave. Oh, and a, and a suplex <laughs> by Dave. And now a vicious neck crank by Dave. By Dave! <laughs> oh, uh, J5, that is Dave! <laughs> Oh, dear me. Oh. Wolfram Ajax. Loving it. Yep. Big Elder of Bell drop to Dave. <laughs> He's been pretty dominant, actually, this match, hasn't he? Uh, Wolfram Ajax. Dave, yeah, absolutely. Gets a, oh, but yeah, Dave knows how to dig deep. Look at that running DDT. <laughs> and this could be over. Well, a DDT by Dave spells disaster. That sacrifice. <laughs> oh, and he's not on any of that. Is Wolf from Ajax? Oh, look at this! Oh, big. big choke slam to Dave. Dave in serious trouble here. Dave needs to kick out badly. He does. And he does. Dave kicks out. Dave kicks out. Dave kicks out. <laughs> And just the action is so hard to keep up with in this one, Jim. Now we've got a headlock on Dave. <laughs> oh, but Wolfram Ajax setting him up. Could we see that crucifix powerbomb? Oh, this looks bad for Dave. Dave is hoisted up. He is crucified. And here comes the powerbomb on Dave with authority. <laughs> and here's Dave. the pinfall. Dave needs to kick out. Two on Dave. Three on Dave. And your loser of this match is Dave. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a bit of a squatch match. Uh, what's he called? Rule from Ajax. Beat the shit out of Dave. Yeah, but uh, but again, uh, again, a lesson in the mastery of a wrestler like Dave. Everyone here behind him, at the start, in the middle, at the end. Dave might have lost the match, but he won our hearts, Jim. Absolutely. Everybody, everybody loves Dave. <laughs> Commiserations to Dave, and also, yeah, good job, uh, Wolf. <laughs> Yeah, he does. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Dave. Yeah. You can hear it in J5's uh, in, in J5's comments how how sad he is to have lost the uh, the voice of Gorilla Metso putting you over no matter how terrible you've been in the ring. <laughs> but unfortunately, his tag team partner Satterfield of the Unnatural Snackers just just cut too deep with his comments last weekend, and it's possible. That uh, 
we'll never hear a good thing about the snackers again. <laughs> Um, it's not Rick Norse, I like the lot. Uh, this is Bleeding Hippie on the left, where it says Bleeding Hippie, <laughs> on the right. <laughs> yeah, the big, the, big, the big teal words of the dead giveaway. And yeah, here we go. Two amazing competitors. Muppet Pac-Man never disappoints, never gives up. Bleeding Hippie never sees past seven feet and wins a lot of matches. Should be a wild one. Yeah, absolutely. You need to check out my YouTube, so likes a lot. And there, there are plenty of matches with Rick on there, actually. And Space Cadet and everybody, really. Yeah, and if you needed help getting to Jimmy Fantastic's YouTube, you can just go to www.jimmyfantastic.com or YouTube and search for Jimmy Fantastic, all one word, and you will find yourself with every single JFW match in history. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. That that should take you straight to the homepage. <laughs> no, it may take a while, but it, it has been done. It just it'll just take a while to work. But eventually that will that will take you to the homepage. Trust me. Trust me on the doctor. Really? That is not my experience with you, Jim. Neat love great. Unfortunately, we're, we're having to cancel Meatloaf for a lot of his uh, uh, anti-climate change comments. So I think uh, I think uh, I think I have to pick a different route to pursue with you, J5. <laughs> <laughs> we could easily pull off a. Uh, you're basically a Vietnam vet, right? We could pull off the dude and Walter. <laughs> You're high and mighty. If you truly you? betrayed Mighty AF, we could finally form High and Mighty. Yeah, High and Mighty. I mean, and by we, I mean you and Scaravetsa. I don't really know what that guy wants, but I, I'm guessing it's not a tag team run, but you never know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is true. And here we go, two top competitors. This is a hell of a match. It really is, and this could decide... Starts with two punches. <laughs> yeah. This could decide who, uh... Who fucking takes the cake at, uh... Money in the ass, couldn't it? Mmm, I don't know. That's a pretty crowded Plim Plum Pluserweight, uh, uh, match already. I think, uh, Muppet, earn, uh, Muppet earned his shot at it, correct? And, uh, yeah. Mordam really has no reason to be denied from it. Yeah. But, yeah, Hippie winning could really complicate things. We are, what, one week out from money in the ass at this point. Could we see another incredible four-way elimination uh, to plane down this tight field of competitors to see who gets a shot at Gruel Face Killa's uh, uh, title? Yeah, very interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. I don't know what's going to happen there. Uh, but now we, we do have Moradam in the Money in the Ass match, and it's possible that on Monday, Muppet Pac-Man could add himself to that match, and then that would be two top competitors that not only are deserving of a title shot, but would also have a chance at the contract that could get them that title should they not already win it, or a shot at a higher title. And I got to believe a guy like Muppet Pac-Man has a real shot, both him and Moradam, with the money in the ass contract, could consider adding the, the Chaos Chosen Championship or even, dare I say, the World Heavyweight Championship to their trophy shelves. Absolutely, yes. Uh, that is always an option to, to bat up in weight class. <laughs> and guys, especially like Muppet Pac-Man, who never give up, uh, could could make that leap, couldn't it? Absolutely, Jim. Oof. Big counter. I was looking very bad for Muppet. Now he might be able to turn the uh, turn the tide in this one a little bit. Oh, and here we go, some high flying. Ooh, tossed him around. Muppet, him. of course, best known for his six one nine. 
how many will he bust out today? He has not been uh, digging deep on that one recently. He's been winning matches other ways, but uh, always, always a dangerous threat if he can get you hung up on the ropes. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed, Basil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is certainly a thing. Whoa. Huge, huge DDT there. Not, not this time though, says Hippie. Oh, and look at this submission. Working over that knee. That's a nasty lock. But Muppet face punches his way out of it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, what an athletic powerbomb that was, wasn't it? And Muppet, the uh, the forgotten addition to the Unnatural Snackers, probably trying to distance himself from them already, given how poorly they all performed as a trio and how well he has performed as a singles act. Will we ever see him united again with the Unnatural Snackers? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, and he played right into Hippie's hands on that one. Hippie, a master, a master of manipulating depth perception, just got... <laughs> Muppet Pac-Man to overshoot him and get him in a pitting <laughs> predicament there. <sighs> Muppet really showcasing why he's part of the unnatural snacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Top rope Johnny maybe giving him too many tips on that one. <laughs> oh, massive kick though. Yep. <sighs> And you know, Hippie's been a little bit behind in this match, but we haven't seen him do his devastating top rope jump and miss move, which generally is a sign that things are going well for him inexplicably. Yeah. Oh, big pin attempt. This could be all. Gets a two. Not just the two count Muppet. It takes a lot to put a guy like Muppet away. It does, yeah. I think he'll be happy with the two count there, to be honest. Uh, after the expulsion of Fashfinder from the JFW Muppet, now the smallest man in JFW, uh, but the biggest heart. It's hard to argue against that. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not entirely sure what that was, but it seemed effective. <laughs> it looked like a move straight out of the 1990 classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This reminds me of world class. Back in the 1980s. <laughs> yeah, I think it was a taunt somehow. Yeah, I, I, I agree, yeah. Crazy, yeah. Oh, another pinning attempt here. And just the two count. Muppet fights his way out. Crowd getting firmly behind Muppet Pac Man on this one. But yeah. Hippie trying to slow the pace down a little bit. You can tell by those horizontal thumbs who they're cheering for. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here it is, the 619. Hey. Which all the ref interferes, does not lose a step, hits the 619, and in for the big splash. Will he go for the pin? He does. Hey, this could be it. No. Just the two count. Hippie fights his way out. Yeah, Muppet was dominating people. He won plenty of matches with a 6 one 9 in, in the Internet yeah. Championship. And again, really going to have to see that interesting uh, depth perception miss by him. Oh, oh, and we, we might go. be seeing it right now. He's got a line on the commentary. And here we go, <laughs> calling Muppet to stand up. You know this is how he wins his matches. I don't know how. But there it is, misses wildly, and that must seal the match for Bleeding Hippie. It's almost, a, it's only a matter of time now, folks. <laughs> and yeah, he knows he's got him right where he wants him. This is all but over. Whoa. The big splash in the corner. Jumping Lariat, the kip up. And I think it is good night, Muppet. All it takes is that single vault into the middle of the ring, missing wildly. <laughs> and that is how you end a match. Oh, dear, man. Oh, 
No, just the two count. Dreams come true. Mother Pac-Man stays alive. <laughs> hippie thinking. Hippie thinking he's going to need something big here to seal it. I thought he might go to the outside again, try another whiff into the middle of the ring. Oh. Instead, just goes for the backstabber. And that could be every, could be it, but it is Muppet. No. And there it is, your winner, Bleeding Hippie. And now, what do we do, Jim? Muppet Pac-Man with the right at a title match. More damn with, has earned himself a shot too and Hippie just beat the guy who was set to beat the guy for the title surely he cannot be overlooked at this stage what are we doing gonna see about that Jim who knows yeah who knows indeed there's, there's a few ways to book it we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to see what J the great uh, the great owner of the JFW All right, yeah shut up is. about Jimmy Min Max Tassin there um, <laughs> leading hippie wins. You can see the disappointment in Muppet Pac-Man's eyes, both on his chest and on his face. He knew he needed to do better there. <laughs> and, well, yes, yeah, so we'll have to see what happens with that. And now we have Flicky Flack versus Night Demon in an Extreme Rules match. Yeah, this one, uh, this one called on from on high, I think, for some uh, unsafe decisions made by one of the competitors. Jim, tell us a little bit more about this match. Yeah, well, in uh, in Wednesday Night Death Zone, um, Flicky Flack was, you know, kind of responsible for the presumed death of Gdynik. <laughs> he did, he set him up for a for a, a move off his shoulders, and then it ended up that Gdynik, um head was driven into the floor, um, and it looked it looked horrific. It looked like he was dead, um, and. That wasn't Death Zone, was it? It was on Raw. But Claw, it was on Claw. But never yeah. mind, whenever it was, it happened. And yeah. it, Real scary moment, destroyed. real scary moment. His neck was destroyed. People, people, you know, the, the, the medical personnel turned up. We haven't heard anything from, it, from him for a week now. And who knows what's happened to G'day Nick. And uh, Night Demon is, of course, a literal zombie. So if anybody's going to uh, exact vengeance for death, it's going to be Night Demon. Absolutely, and I don't see any remorse whatsoever in Flicky Flack's eyes. Night Demon is going to have to beat it into him. I just want to go on record, though, Jim, as saying this. You know, Flicky Flack catching a lot of Flicky Flack for his, a for his actions on Monday night, rightfully so. But Marcel has not been mentioned at all. He played a significant part of that accident. And I really think the uh, the upper management needs to take another look at that tape and consider uh, punishment for uh, for Marcel as well as Flicky Flack. <laughs> that is a very good point, yes. I mean, this isn't punishment. This is just uh, something that Night Demon wanted to call him out in one of the fights, so. Well, fair enough, and here he comes, Night Demon. He has actually struggled as late. One of the most proficient technical wrestlers in the JFW. But he, he has fallen prey to the ball shot like some of the other greats, just like Scrimetto in his uh, Money in the Ass match and uh, a few other guys of less uh, renown. But, wow. you know, here he is right now um, after his own uh, punishment match looking to exact vengeance. Uh, yeah. Last week, of course, having to face both Bezel and EAB in a punishment match for his actions directed at a referee. Uh, maybe looking to get back into uh, Jim McMahon's uh, better uh, better graces, you know, here with a uh, with a with a uh, exclamation point win over Flicky Flack uh, to make uh, things better with the fan base uh, in the JFW. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god. Um. Just keep muttering your way through it. We're almost done, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I was distracted there. Sorry. <laughs> That's not right. Sorry for being distracted there, everybody. Uh, don't worry about me. I'm be going to bed soon. <laughs> Sounds like somebody found Marcel McDaniels' OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. There wouldn't have even been a show tonight if I'd found that. <laughs> 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 I do like the smell of steel, will you? What does it smell like, Jim? Just like new, new stuff, you know. 
My yeah. new shoes, it's it's made of real leather, handmade leather steering wheel that is. Like, not handmade leather, but you know, hand-stitched leather. <laughs> and it's lovely. Mm, it smells great. Oh, baby. New car smell. There you go. I do, I do like smelling that, that steering wheel, yeah. I also drive around when, without driving. Change the gears a little bit. <laughs> do you make uh, the beep beep noise though? That's the most important thing. Beep beep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> beep beep, ribby ribby. <laughs> anyway, there's a match going on, isn't there? Look at this. There Night sure Demon. is. Night Demon all over Flicky Flack right now. Spitting the blood, dominating Flicky Flack. And uh, yeah, the, the heavyweight here really needs to get his act together if he wants to stay uh, stay alive in this one. No pun intended. Ah, uh -huh, very good. <laughs> it's not me lemon is good. It's table leg that does that. <laughs> good, good lord! What is wrong with you people up there? <laughs> Can caravan. <laughs> Whoop. Butterfly suit. Under hooks. No. Oh, no. Oh, wow. What Knees to the gut instead. Interesting move. Uh, Night Demon always kind of perfecting these these unexpected changing moves. Uh, really taking it to Flicky Flack here and just looking all over this one. Yeah. <laughs> now he does the butterfly suit. <laughs> The fuck do you want with a jizzed up caravan? <laughs> oh, and again, the knees to the face. <laughs> oh, but the bitch slap from Flicky Flack and now throwing his weight around and taking over this match. Oh, yeah. I mean, Flicky Flack has, has got an outstanding record at JFW. He's, a, he's an absolute monster. Yeah, he's, yeah, absolutely. He and basically. he's done it the hard way. He does a lot of, has a lot of multi-man match wins, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so he's he's, he's up there with Night Demon. This is uh, it, certainly a clash of the titans. Yep. Well, again, Night Demon. Uh, more more technical uh, grace than uh, than raw wins, I think. Yeah. Another double underhook, knees to the gut. Deadlifts in there, <laughs> flips him around. Oh, and the big slam, and now going for that pinfall. So Just cool. the two count. And the dead man has to keep fighting. <laughs> oh, and he's looking. Oh, but not for much longer if he has his way with things. Here it comes. The fucking AA. <laughs> That's got to be it. <laughs> oh! No, the, the last second kick out by Flicky Flack. Unbelievable. Biting the fingers. Dirty maneuver. Must be frustrated. Doesn't like seeing an AA not, uh, not end the match. Incredible kick out from Flicky Flack. Not able to get anything going. Oof. Oh, he's hurting a bit. <laughs> That's, <all. laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Buddy. That would require uh, Breadmask to ever do enough damage to get a finisher off. <laughs> Friday football. He does a pin complex sometimes. That's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, he does what other people would call a suplex <laughs> occasionally. <laughs> that move right there, ten times more devastating. Yeah. yeah. Hello, Flicky Flack. Well, you yeah. just didn't have to see yourself losing him. <laughs> yeah. No, another two count kick out. Uh, you are getting, uh, yes, uh, Flicky Flack is getting kind of dominated here by Night Demon, but resisting one AA pin attempt and now fighting his way back. Uh, really, again, setting the scene on this one. Uh, some saying uh, secret punishment here. Night Demon coming out, uh, fighting on behalf of uh, the now possibly deceased Gedanek after Flicky Flack causing the hideous neck injuries. 
uh, on Monday Night Claw. Yeah. Just the two count again. Dominating stuff. Yep. But again, Night Demon has uh, has uh, done this in the past and gone on to lose the match. So that's very true. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. And he hasn't even been feuding with Jimmy Min Max Fastic, so I don't know what his excuse is. <laughs> very good. No, sadly, J5, if only Jinx was that clever. Oh, I also was assuming that was what was going on here. <laughs> yeah, I know. Ah, uh, you're the worst. I, know, I was man. trying to big. I was trying to big that up too. We didn't even talk about it, and mm. J five had to ruin it by Hoka. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I ruined it by being <laughs> fucking shattered today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now, now, now knowing that this match suddenly feels like it's going on a bit too long. Good lord, put him away, Night Demon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh and there there it is, the knee busting open Flicky Flack, and surely the end is nigh. Oh, the AA outside the ring, but that is not going to lead to a pinfall, but it might lead to a. Uh, Sir, oh no, counters out of it. Flicky Flack desperately trying to fight back. Big boot. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, misses with the drop kick. Now these two both just getting gassed outside the ring here. <laughs> Ref not calling them. Must be an Extreme Rules match. It is an Extreme Rules match. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, really, no, not much point of having a ref at all, except for counting three <laughs> in Extreme Rules, man. There's a big spear. <laughs> Only a, a one count, just a one count. Wow. Oh, but now Flicky Flack looking for that flack hammer. We've seen this end matches before, Jim. Yeah, absolutely. Could Night Demon get Night Demon again? <laughs> Maybe. Oh, no, a so two good. count. This is going to continue. Whew, I thought that was it. And Flicky getting a little bit frustrated, maybe looking to uh, add to his kill list here. <laughs> Brings the chair in the ring. Will he do anything with it? Oh, he hits Oh, it. he does right into his back, and then he slams it down with the door. Picks it up again. <laughs> Shades of Scaramezzo here. <laughs> Shades of Scaramezzo here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he and hits him it twice it with it. Wow, the innovator oh. three times with the chair. The savagery tosses it into the ring, probably killed a fan. <laughs> and now, oh boy, the big power bomb. Incredible. And the pin. <laughs> Just the two count again. Night Demon staying alive, sort of. <laughs> Sort of. Sort of somehow. Oh. And just now he's ragdolling him. Flicky Flack has got to just maybe just get another uh, <laughs> another Flack Hammer off here and try and get, the, get this match to end, but instead just trying to bang on him and pin him. Doesn't happen again. Bang on him. We've seen guys come back from this, this position before. But uh, we'll see. Flicky Flack, a top competitor. Oh, and look at this. A third one of these double underhook knees to the gut. Yeah. Oh, the triple, the triple elbows now. Yep. Oof. The flag knife, the keyboard. 
cranks that head. We've seen that in matches before. Oh. Oh, but here it is. Look at this. Oh, the big military press. That was the Feeling move it was slam. going for when Gudenik was tragically uh, in Yeah. Here. With authority showing off what could have been. And just the two count again. <laughs> that must have woken something up in Night Demon. And this match is going to continue, Jim. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> oh, now this is, oh, wow. this is ill-advised. The big man going top rope. What is he thinking here? Oh, God. I yeah, he that went thinking. about as well as Eddie had expected. <laughs> Tripped himself up on the ropes and fell. But somehow, Night Demon not able to capitalize whatsoever on that and just gets the bad German suplex <laughs> and just savages his face. <laughs> and the pinning attempt, this could be it. It could be. Oof! Just the two count again! <laughs> and now, frustration taken over again, goes outside for a breather, allowing Night Demon back to his feet, sort of. <laughs> no, not quite. Whoa, that's Oof. Cool, isn't it? Is it enough? Nope. No, just two. How much more can Night Demon take in this match? What a match, Jim. It is. It's it's, it's just quietly. It's turned into quite the match, hasn't it? Sure has. Oh, and look at this. An AA. Ooh. And now Flicky Flack in serious trouble. The second AA. Oh, oh no. God. Night Demon with authority. This has got to be it. It's, Out it's... of nowhere with those. Spits the blood. Doesn't go Not done with Flicky Flack yet either. Could be a mistake. No, just some of this bullshit. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, now that we're done with that, uh, Night Demon has just lightning quick come back in this match showing great resilience. Flicky Flack in all kinds of trouble here. Oh, oh no. Now, this must be... The, what a comeback this has been. That's an incredible sequence. And that is enough. Night Demon scores a huge win, pins the big man somewhere in, you know, Australian heaven. Gedanik is probably smiling. <laughs> I, I assume they don't go to regular heaven. <laughs> and Night Demon is your winner. Flicky Flack and him both putting on a hell of a show, but Night Demon needed that win just a little bit more than Flicky, and he got it. Yeah, and who knows what's gonna transpire now. Almost assuredly, Tarsus. <laughs> and look at this. Celebrating in the ring with his weird voodoo shit. <laughs> Absolutely. And that is the end and of the And that show. is it. What a show. Great performance by Gorilla Metsu tonight. Jim, you were there too. Excellent stuff as always, Gorilla. Thank you so much for having me, and I will see you Monday night. <laughs> thanks very much. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>